Hello viewers, uh, <clears throat> back at the range, this is part two of the uh, video of the shoe top between the three rifles and the Bisley Magnum Palace. Uh, I've done my initial zero on each rifle because I'm doubling the distance to what I was shooting the other day, which was 20 yards, and now I set up at 40 yards. So I'm going to start off in the same order as before, be the BSA R10, the Day State. Airwolf and the Falcon Prairie. So uh, there'll be nine shots on each rifle at 40 yards. So uh, let's get on with the test. Okay then, first shot will be done with the R10. Let's go for a look. Nine shots. That's the R10. <clears throat> Not bad groups, all inside of five peaks. The yellow circles are five pence. So <clears throat> next up will be this day day stay at the airwolf. Okay then, Day State Airwolf electronic rifle. No way near as good as the R10, is it? Interesting. I know the wind's flapping around, but it's not going to make that difference. Right. Last one up was the Falcon. Ok then the Falcons are finding one up, out of the three, so we have no problems with the uh, magazine. So it can sometimes play up a bit, but hopefully not.
it. It's actually quite well actually. Uh, some of the pellets are pretty good but obviously the others thrown off. It's not a regulated rifle. Okay then, so what I'm going to do next is push it out to 50 yards now. And the wind, the wind is blowing, but uh, it's blowing slightly to the left and towards me, so hopefully it won't make too much of a difference. So uh, sticking with the target up at 50 yards. Going in reverse all this time because the rifle's on the bench, so uh, I did a quick zero at 50 on the card next to it. Okay then. So that's the Falcon fifty. Uh, next up, I'll go back to the uh, day state. Okay then, up to the day state. dropped off to the three o'clock position most of them at the twelve o'clock and going that way that way the wind could be that could be make done out but a lot better than the first one to be honest okay then so the final one up will be the uh, BSAR 10 Okay then last it was the R10, 50 yards. That's it, bring the target back and uh, draw some conclusions to it all. OK 
Okay then, so we'll start off with the uh, BSAR 10. 40 yards, pretty tight group. 50 yards, it starts opening up. Uh, going up to the day states. 40 yards. It's not as tight as R10. 50 yards. Decent little group there. Just lost one down here. But apart from that, that's a better group than at the 40. I'm going on to the uh, Falcon. Same again. Not too bad a group at 40. At 50 yards, it starts to open up again. Right, the conclusions to this. <laughs> Don't take this. There's gospel saying one rifle is better than another. It's all down to how that pellet suits the barrel on each particular rifle. And rifles, as, rifles of the same brand and model can still shoot pellets differently. So it's just how they've shot through the rifles today. Influences on the accuracy mainly down to me. Uh, on my scapes, I've, I've seen right in, so I've got a good view. But then it exaggerates your pulse, so you can see it jumping. So some people could shoot a lot better than I can. Uh, it's all down to controlling your breathing, getting everything just right for that perfect shot. Uh, you can do it for one, two, three shots, but when you're doing groups of nine, it's hard to concentrate that long. And then you've also got weather that can make a difference but uh, on the whole I'm not doing too bad uh, at 40 yards they're all capable of uh, 18 20 millimeter groups and at 50 yards they should all be capable of uh, shooting between an inch and half inch uh, if it hadn't have been for the uh, day state throwing one at the three o'clock position we would have had it around 20 millimeter group the BSA is probably just under an inch from centre to centre, but the Falcon that's spread out a bit more, uh, that's probably about one and a half inch. But like I say, the rifles should all be capable of doing the same job. It's down to the shooter and it's down to the circumstances, but there we go. Just testing the Bisley Magnums, put different pellets through the different rifles and they'll all get different results again. So. Uh, Obviously the uh, the R10 definitely likes Bisley Magnums. I knew it did. Uh, I know I know the uh, the Falcon has liked them in the past, and I know the the Day State. Uh, which one is it? Wolverine that likes them. Uh, other pellets that would do well that's similar to this are the the uh, H&N Barracudas, the different ones of those. But uh, there we go. That's the test complete, part two. Hope you've enjoyed it. Just a little look at how the rifles cope with a Bisley Magnum at 40 and 50 yards. So, uh, catch you in the next video.